In a shocking turn of events, Everton has been docked 10 points for breaching Premier League financial rules, plunging the club into the relegation zone. This decision could have far-reaching consequences, extending beyond Goodison Park. While Everton fans may find solace in knowing where they stand, the severity of the punishment raises concerns about the club's future. The immediate questions that arise are whether this point's deduction will lead to relegation and what the outcome of any potential appeal will be. What's particularly significant is that the chair of the independent commission stated that several rival clubs may have claims for compensation. Leicester City, Leeds United, and Burnley are reportedly considering suing Everton for millions of pounds in damages. This situation has the potential to mirror the 2009 case where West Ham had to pay Sheffield United £20 million in compensation after a legal dispute over Carlos Tevez's eligibility. The uncertainty surrounding litigation, the proposed sale of Everton to U.S. investment firm 777 Partners, and the financial implications for the club create a doomsday scenario where Everton could end up paying more in compensation than the new owners can afford, leading to administration and a further nine-point deduction, almost certainly resulting in relegation. But the turmoil doesn't end there. This ruling comes at a time when the finances of other clubs are also under scrutiny. Chelsea is being investigated for potential financial rule breaches, and Manchester City recently faced 115 charges for alleged breaches of the Premier League's financial rules. The scale and complexity of these cases mean that it could take years to reach a resolution. However, the ruling on Everton adds to the intrigue and pressure surrounding the Premier League's regulatory process as these controversies continue. While the Premier League denies singling out Everton, the perception among fans and pundits is that the club has become an easy target. The hefty points deduction, the largest in the league's history, is seen as excessive for a £19 million overspend when compared to the fines imposed on the six English teams involved in the European Super League plot. Those in favour of enforcing the profit and sustainability rules argue that they are necessary to prevent clubs from living beyond their means. They believe that after years of criticism, the league needed to take a stronger stance in regulating owners and spending levels. However, the fallout from this ruling could be painful, causing division and casting doubt on the fairness and integrity of the competition. The fear is that the calculations of accountants, the arguments of lawyers, and the decisions of commissions will increasingly determine teams' fates, overshadowing the performances of the players on the field. Two years after the ESL crisis, the Everton ruling may mark the beginning of another period of turmoil, infighting, and litigation in English football. The credibility of the Premier League and the trust of its fans are at stake.